Hello there and welcome. Today we're gonna talk about why anyone would buy a mechanical watch over a digital or a quartz piece. I've been into watches for quite some time and while some people understand the hobby, others ask why buy such an expensive piece when any other watch can do the same. Since this question is valid and often asked, I've an answer that I've perfected over time. When I was a little boy, I visited Aldi with my family and saw a beige digital watch that probably no one would buy. Well, I wanted it and I was able to convince my parents to buy it for me after I promised to wear it. From that day on, I wore the watch all the time until the strap started to disintegrate. After that came a G-Shock, which I also wore 24 hours a day. At that time, I started to get annoyed by a few things, even though I wasn't even 10 years old. My mother always had to get the battery changed for me, and that took some time. Also, the loop on the strap ripped off, and while I got a new one after a while, a blue jeans colored loop looked weird on a green G-Shock. A few digital watches later, I talked with my dad about his watch, a Breitling at the time, I think. He told me that neither did his watch need a battery, nor could the crystal scratch or the bracelet easily rip. At the time I couldn't imagine how a watch could run forever, until a while later I got a rough explanation. From that moment on I was fascinated by automatic watches and the mechanics behind them. This fascination has not let go of me until today and I'm enthusiastic about automatic watches even if they may not make sense from the point of view of a normal person. A quartz or a smartwatch costs less than most mechanical watches, is more accurate and has a dozen more features. From this simple point of view there is no reason other than prestige to buy a mechanical or luxury watch. Electronic speed mechanics in price and precision in the 1970s and they've only gotten better and cheaper since then. So why would anybody buy a mechanical watch in 2021? Like with cars, enthusiasts love the complexity and simplicity. The concept of a combustion engine is simple, but current engines are far from simple. And it's the same for watches. Gears, springs and levers are the most basic things that come to mind when you think of mechanics. But in the tiny form of a wristwatch, combined with the level of finishing and complications, they become a masterpiece. This love for the old and the fact that you can see more than just a circuit board is what makes people interested in mechanical watches today. The feeling of setting a watch, winding it and listening to the metallic sounding caliber is something you don't get with other watches. Furthermore, mechanical watches are not electronic devices. They're considered luxury items and are designed to last for a long time. Materials such as ceramic and sapphire crystal guarantee a scratch-free front, while the stainless steel case provides a secure and durable housing for the caliber. Many mechanical watches have been running for decades and even once they stop working, a watchmaker can repair them. Companies like Patek Philippe even advertise that their watches are made to be passed down to the next generation. All this is the reason why people treasure, love and collect watches. They represent values and historicity that are hard to find in our modern life, where everything revolves around efficiency and utility. How did you get into mechanical watches? Please let me know in the comments because I love those stories. If you liked the video, please leave a like and if it wasn't your cup of tea, tell me why in the comments down below.